I am Professor Ashwinya Michinde from Department of Electronics and Telecommunication, KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. In this video, we are going to discuss satellite network architecture, which is important point from satellite network. So, let us start with satellite network architecture. So, before going towards satellite network architecture, let us see satellite link. So, in the figure we can see there are inter-satellite links along with there are many links with handheld terminal, user terminals like telephone, fax, computers. Then there is also link with portable earth station transportable earth station and fixed earth station. So, whatever network which is on the ground, it is terrestrial network. So, this is an example of satellite link. We can clearly see the satellite signal is received by multiple receivers and the receivers can be movable, it can be fixed and it can be handheld. So, in the previous slide, we know there are terrestrial networks, satellite network with or without intersatellite links, and earth station. It is based on mobility and it can be categorized into fixed earth station and transportable earth station based on type of users can be categorized into user earth station that is UES or gateway earth station GES. Portable and handheld terminals and user terminals connecting to satellite links directly or through terrestrial network. Satellite networks share many fundamental concept with general networking. If we talk in terms of topology, it can be configured into star topology or into mesh topology. And in terms of transmission technology, we can also again set up it into point to point, point to multi point and multi point to multi point connections. In this diagram, in this figure, we can see there is one satellite and the satellite is sending signal to various receivers. So, there are many clients or receivers and there is only one sender. So, we can say this is point to multi point topology. Then coming towards satellite network architecture. In this figure, we can see satellite along with ground segments. So, different parts of satellite are shown into the diagram. The satellite includes propul propulsion system, telemetry, altitude, attitude control, commanding, fuel, battery and power. It also includes solar arrays. It can have onboard processing, switching or on routing. Then there is down converter, preamplifier and filter along with high power amplifier and filter. So, these are main points which are present on the satellite. Then there is a ground segment. On the ground segment, there are various networks and there are various receivers. So, in the space segment, we have satellite 
and in the ground segment we have network and terminals. Then again we have link between satellite and satellite control center and network control center. So, let us discuss space segment. The space segment consists of satellite, the satellite control center and network control center. It is also called as network management center that is NMC. Here we require to take a note that SCC and NCC are located at the ground level means the satellite control center and network control center are on ground or on the earth. Then this NCC and NMC are important. NCC is in charge of managing the access and bandwidth allocation. It is used for real time connection of elements assigned to the satellite terminals from the satellite while NMC are not real time. So, the connections made with NMC are not real time connections. NCC it typically located in major earth station, but it may be located on board for modern satellites. SCC, SCC is the on-ground on system responsible for the operation of the satellite. SCC monitors the status of the different satellite subsystems through telemetry links, controls and satellite on its nominal orbit through telecommand links. SCC communicates with the satellite using dedicated links which are different from the communication links. It is normally made up of one earth station and geo or non-geo satellite system. SCC receives telemetry from the satellite and sends command to the satellite. Typically, a backup SCC is built at a different location to improve reliability and availability. Then ground segment, the earth station is the main element of the ground segment. Each earth station transmits and receives traffic signals to and from satellites and provides interfaces to terrestrial network or to user terminals directly. The earth station may consist of following parts, the transmitting and receiving antenna ranging from below 0 0.5 meters to 16 meters and above which are the most visible part of the earth station. Next is low noise amplifier of the receiver system with noise temperature ranging from about 30 Kelvin to few hundred Kelvins. Next part is high performance amplifier of the transmitter with power from a few watts to few thousands kilowatts depending on the capacity. Then there are again important parts like modulation, demodulation, frequency translation, signal processing, interfaces to terrestrial networks or user terminals. There are interfaces, exit, exist sorry, satellite network interfaces, technically there exist three different interfaces in satellite networks. One is user terminal interface, 
then terrestrial network interface and ISL interface. So, it is time for reflection spot. What are the basic components of satellite network architecture? The important components of satellite network architecture are satellite, the satellite control center that is SCC, network control center NCC, network management center NMC and ground segment that is earth station. Thank you.